Today I'm buzzing with excitement because we have two of the greatest singers in the world, Sia and Adele, singing Adele's song, Love in the Dark. It's been cleverly put together, but it's going to be attached to another cleverly put together by me of a DJ who sang about Nefertiti, the goddess of the pyramids from Egypt. And he had an Egyptian dance track and I felt it needed a video with it. So I put a video that's a short animated film about a camel and an archaeologist and the pyramids. That's all I'm going to say. It's fun. It's uplifting. It'll be attached to this. So back to this. See it, Love in the Dark. And a song by, as I said, the great woman herself, Adele. Now, many assume that Love in the Dark is yet another ode to a relationship that most of 21 is based on from the However, it's far more likely that it's based on the rebound relationship she fell into before she met her man around the release of 21. Unlike the main inspiration for 21, who is repeatedly being forgiven by Adele, she rarely refers to this guy in anything less than venomous tones in interviews and live recordings. Now, the song reflects how she felt at the time, although he gave her what she needed at the time, someone to love her, and look after it in a new heartbreak, their relationship isn't meant to continue. Adele finds herself in an uncomfortable position given her history of being the one doing the breakup. Now, the other thing I've learned about the song is she speaks throughout the lyrics about the difficulty of letting go of that past relationship, even when it's for the best. And in the song we'll hear Adele is coming to terms and Sia singing it with the fact that the, lo the love she and her partner shared has come to an end. She talks about it, she's too ashamed to talk about it in front of her partner and instead wants to leave quietly. She also speaks about how her partner has given her something she can't live without. And despite this, she knows that she, it's for the best not to carry on. Like everything else is fine and that the the, the longer they try to ignore it, the more they will fight. Ultimately, the song speaks to the idea that while love can be a beautiful thing, it's often difficult to let go of it when it's no longer right. And that is so true. I was, in, I was with a narcissist, psychopathic, piece of, and I won't say the profanity because of YouTube's uh, laws and guidelines with videos. I'll only say I'm so glad to get out of the relationship but I found it hard to go because I wanted to be in one, regardless of how toxic it was. So we have the lyrics. I'm going back up to the lyrics now. We're going to listen to the song straight away. And we are going to save it to the greatest singers in the world singing this. I think it's a beautiful combination, well put together. And it's entertaining. And that's what this channel is all about. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe if you do like this and want more of the same. And other reactions of Adele and Sia on my channel. Take, take it away, ladies, because we are going to savour this. I'm far too ashamed to do it with you watching me This is never ending, we have been here before But I can't stay this time cause I don't love you anymore Please stay where you are don't come any closer Don't try to change my mind I'm being fooled to be kind I can't love
That was absolutely beautifully put together and epic, epic, the, the most epic version of putting two people together. I have to say, I do a lot of that on my channel. I put videos with songs that have no videos and vice versa, simply because to give the viewer, you yourselves that watch my channel, entertainment like no other. I really do put the effort in, into the thumbnails, into the videos, into the thought process. And I hope you save it that because that music, that orchestral version of it is absolutely dynamic and as I said it comes from Adele's album and it's Love in the Dark track 8 on 25 now all fans will know that so verse 1 straight into verse 1 it says take your eyes of me so I can leave I'm far too ashamed to do it with you watching me this is never ending we have been here before but I can't say this time because I don't love you anymore and the pre-chorus says, please stay where you are. Don't come any closer. Don't try to change my mind. I'm being cruel to be kind. And then the chorus says, I can't leave you in the dark. It feels like we're oceans apart. There's so much space between us. Baby, we're all ready to feed it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything changed me. And so take your eyes of me so I can leave. I'm far too ashamed to do it with you watching me. She wants to leave the relationship, but her heart still pulls her back to the person whom she thinks maybe she shouldn't be leaving. Because we all do that. We all go back in relationships and think, I want to leave, I don't want to leave, I want to leave, I don't want to leave. There's all, always that inner conflict within a relationship when you feel what's done is done. And you're the one that's always breaking up. Like Adele admits that, holds her hand up and says, I'm always the one that has to break things up because she continues please don't fall apart i can't face your breaking heart i'm trying to be brave stop asking me to stay well i have to admit adele i certainly didn't get that now it goes on to the chorus i can't love you in the dark it feels like we're oceans apart there's so much space between us baby we're all ready defeated yeah 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 and 
if you go into that particular verse 2 and we repeat the lines Adele tries to assure herself that the man in the relationship has been good for her in some ways because she sings you've given me something that I can't live without and that probably was self-confidence that was pro probably about you your beautiful babe saying something every day to her now whether the relationship came to an end because Adele thought there's no substance it's all artificial with words and everything but I'm not feeling anything and she followed her own heart who cares at the end of the day she got something from it because we all get something a learning curve from each relationship we're in till we find the right one some never do but most people do and she said you mustn't underestimate that when you're in doubt when you know when the when the person is on the other side thinking why why oh my god I loved her so much she's more or less pleading with him don't doubt yourself it's just me I've got the problem here not you you were amazing you gave me confidence you gave me love but I just didn't feel anything else and I needed something and I need to go searching for it it's hard for the other person then to accept that it really is but he's helped her to develop her that kind of thing in her and maybe through increased confidence or the discovery of a new skill but she still doesn't want to carry on like everything's fine and I totally get it just because something good has happened they shouldn't necessarily and this is the moral everybody stay together you shouldn't even though I wanted to and he and my ex-partner turned out to be violent Adele explains their problems have been the source of their fights remember that and that they can go on no longer she can't ignore it and she's that's frustration as I mentioned and she's given this news she doesn't want him to fall apart which is wonderful because there is a deep love there but not enough to carry on because she can't face facing him being totally dismembered totally broken emotionally in front of her she just wants him to be strong to move on for her to move on and that's a fair thing to ask and the frustration is the only thing that's causing the fights because it's almost like you know two magnets that come together and one repels because two magnets are usually opposite so she knows she's given him bad news she does and she wants him to be strong for a little more while well she does plan a future and try and accept it and move on herself for her part she's trying to be brave that's all and she just wants him to st not to stay around and be brave but to be brave and move on now in the bridge she sings we're not the only ones others have had to break up like this and they've gone through these experiences he shouldn't question the breakup in her mind he shouldn't because it's a new experience for them too in that relationship and Adele doesn't want to regret anything she meant what she said always and she said she really did love him remember that in the lyrics she says that she assures him of that and she was good enough to do that in a world to me that you are my life she says but I want to live and not just to survive is Adele giving him a huge compliment so it's not all bad in the song and that he's the world to her and always will be from the experience they had but explains that it doesn't go in any more than that she needs new experiences she needs a new life she needs to move on and she'll never try being on her own or staying alive in a relationship that's suffocating her and then it says in the lyrics after the bridge the the outro is that's why I can't love you in the dark it feels like we're oceans apart there's so much space between us baby we're all ready to feed her because yeah 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 now what she's saying there in the outro and to summarize this song the entire song when Adele sings because everything changed me and I don't think you can save me she's different and needs to move on it's as simple as that somewhere else and it's unfortunately not with the person that she's trying to reassure that it's not him it's her at least she takes that courage to say I'm the person at fault here not you you're an amazing person it's just me please accept it please for us both to move on that takes a brave person to do that especially when you know the other person's still into you and I finished 
to finish the problems she's going through now this man can't solve because she needs to sort it out in her head and her heart and everything herself and she needs someone or something else to fulfill her void not the person she's with so that's it that's my entirety of the song i hope you enjoyed it thanks sia for your contribution thanks for the remix i think it's a beautiful video love in the dark featuring adele take care